Hey guys, Brandon here with Two Guys One Tube, and um, we're gonna do another Photoshop tutorial with clearing up skin, making it look smooth like the models, because we know that nobody has perfectly smooth skin like this girl right here. She's a pretty girl, but she has dry skin. So to begin with, we are going to duplicate the background layer because we don't want to mess with it, or we want to keep it in case we mess up. And this pretty much it's self-explanatory it's actually something I found out recently how to do by recently I mean like a month or two ago and use your pen tool you can use the freeform pen tool to just draw but my computer is lagging as is so I'm not gonna risk it right now um I'm gonna back out a little bit and you just take your pen and you draw a border of where you want where like the imperfections are but I'm doing the whole the whole skin right now and this may go a little slow like doing the whole thing so I'm probably gonna speed it up while I'm doing the other parts and you right click and hit make selection and feather radius it makes it to where it's it blends in so it's not just totally looks stupid and um, I'll show you later how to fix a little bit of that like where it's gonna come over this hair over here and it'll look fake well, of course it's gonna look fake because nobody's skin's smooth perfect but and you're gonna hit OK. So it made the selection, and you're gonna go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And you pick whichever looks good for the picture. And um, I'm probably gonna leave it at four pixels. And we're gonna leave it there, and just click that. Now you see where it's coming over the hair line right here. You can fix this by the eraser tool, and make it take the hardness and put it on zero. Make it soft. So it you can erase the edges and make it flow in better make it bigger because that'll make it flow better also and um you just come here and don't wow you gotta keep the bottom layer visible and you erase a little bit and you just you just go a few times and see where you like it at and I mean it's not it's gonna be really difficult to make it look perfect with unless you have practice with it so I mean you gotta I think it'll look stupid with too much so I'm just gonna leave it at that and anyway we're gonna keep going and I'm just gonna do the rest of these and you wanna keep it and you wanna do the shades that are the same you don't wanna go and do something that's different shades like you wanna go around the shades or the blur will act differently and look fake and you're just gonna keep doing your blur and keep drawing and it's actually not that difficult it's just you gotta do it a lot if you wanted to make it look half decent see the face is starting to clear up and look better I mean it's not gonna look perfect and by means I'm not a professional Photoshop expert I mean I don't I taught I'm a self-taught Photoshop whatever you want to call me um it took me three years I have three years of experience doing what I do I don't have any classes to teach me so I just pretty much just self-taught I don't really like using tutorials I pretty much just experiment and stuff and um I mean it's I think it's better that way if you just experiment with stuff because you get to learn you get to learn stuff I mean instead of just getting taught how to do stuff you just do it because you were told instead of knowing why I mean you gotta know what stuff does and what situations will be good for it like there's a different way to do this I know there is it's probably easier but I haven't learned it yet and when I find out I will definitely post a video on it and um there's just I mean like each task can be accomplished in different ways there's more than one way to skin a cat and um while your way may be better than mine I feel more comfortable with my way and or my way is more precise but your way is quicker I mean there's different 
stuff that goes into this every little thing but um I mean it's just a cool little effect that a lot like some people the thing is it takes it's better to have high resolution pictures with these because more imperfections show with higher resolution pictures not like a phone camera I mean which have a really good phone camera it's not really gonna do much um interface is starting to clean up and we got a, a little bit left right here on the nose and um it's actually I think it's, it's not coming out bad in you there's a little spot that's barely noticeable above the eyes and it could make a big difference in a picture if you just get it get it while you can what the heck did I just do alright never mind it worked I just totally like, messed up something I don't know I wigged out my program But um, yeah, that's that's decent little effects you can do. And I mean, I could have done a little bit better and gotten a little bit cleaner and all that. But that's the f not final effect. I mean, I would have done more if I was looking for anything different. But it was just pretty pretty basic. And um, there's the beginning, the before, and there's the after looks cleaned up and nice I mean minus the imperfections I've done but I mean I think it was pretty pretty good job and if you have any questions just let me know if you like this I mean then let me know and comment on the video and if there's anything I could do better I know this one was kinda long I'm sorry guys but I wanted to show y'all I didn't want to speed it up cuz I want y'all to get the gist of everything and <coughs> I just like talking my I'm bored at three o'clock in the morning. I don't know why, but um, that's that's it for this one. And message me if you have any ideas for tutorials. And it's Brandon, two guys, one tube, and I'm out.